uh, just a quick video to compare a couple different Zippo inserts. Uh, I've got um, this Zippo has the official uh, Zippo insert, which runs on a non-pressurized flammable fuel, flammable liquid um, trapped in a uh, rayon membrane. I guess you could say. Uh, two Thunderbird inserts. One on the left they call the Soft Flame. One on the right they call uh, Torch or Jet. And uh, both run on butane, so that's a pressurized gas, or rather a liquefied gas. Um, one on the left uses a flint wheel and flint. One on the right uses electronic ignition. Um, and the one on the right requires the button to be held for the flame uh, to continue burning. And so this picture is really just Photoshop. Okay. So standard uh, Zippo insert. Click open. Clumsily. Uh, I do like the random uh, flashing of fumes that this does. And... Uh, and that it does stay on if you put it aside. And there's a little bit of, you know, flickering to the flame and all of that. Uh, this one is the Thunderbird Soft Flame. Has a similar, and of course, as soon as you open this, the gas begins to escape. And so if we expose it to a flame source, it will light. Um, of course, it will light the traditional way using the flint and flint wheel. And so, um, They've styled these two to look similar. Uh, the height of the flame is adjustable on the Thunderbird Soft Flame. Um, they did put a chrome lining uh, or chrome finish on the uh, chimney, which kind of makes it look nicer. Uh, and there's less debris that ends up inside the chimney because um, it's just a gas that's burning, I suppose, and there's no wick. Uh, the other is the Thunderbird Jet Lighter. Does not have gas that escapes when you um, when you open it. Uh, as you can see here, it's not lighting. Uh, but you do have to hold this down at first when you hold it down. Yes, uh, gas escapes and then of course the electronic ignition, so no flint wheel, uh, will light the gas, the butane gas. So you can see all three of these now. Um, I kind of like the one on the left, the traditional Zippo. Uh, the flickering, the... It's not as clinical as the one in the middle. The one in, on the left feels more organic, I guess. Authentic, maybe? I guess it is the actual authentic Zippo insert. Um, Comparing these two, the butane flame is very stable and um, doesn't light with the same fanfare as the uh, Zippo always lights with. Ah, oh, yes, they're getting warm. Okay, so I'll close this one as well. Uh, so the Zippo insert, uh, when you open it, you know, you sometimes get a little bit of fanfare like that. A little harder to close these when I'm trying to film. Um, just sort of lights. There's usually no flash of vapor uh, except above it. You can see the gas above it flashes briefly, but not usually. Um, sometimes on the Official Zippo insert, there's a small flame that begins, again gets larger, or you have a flash that happens from any vapor that's in the cap. Man, they are getting warm. Uh, just to uh, do this one. Yep, just like that. I kind of like that, actually. Lovely. Woo. Okay, and the butane. Uh, the butane torch, or jet style. Have to hold the button. Let it go, turns off. So that's either a pro or a con. Um, obviously it's a imitation of the design, the 323 
uh, chimney holes, they're not actually holes. Um, like a standard butane, you've got a jet lighter, which you've got electronic ignition in there. And uh, in contrast with the uh, soft flame, when you open it, it doesn't release any gas. But uh, just to compare, we'll go ahead and um, how about we do this. Flick this one open and we'll light it with this one. Go. Okay, so to compare these two, in front you've got the jet or torch, and in the background you've got the soft flame. Both of these are butane inserts from Thunderbird, not the only company that makes butane inserts. Just want to show you real quick uh, some of these different designs. Yes, I actually can close things somewhat competently. And uh, they all fit inside, of course, standard Zippo cases.